Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and um, this is a little video for those that are planning to upgrade from Windows 7 to Windows 10 but not reinstalling. So that means you will use the upgrade pad that will take Windows 7 as you have it now and you'll move on to Windows 10 of course keeping your files and the programs that you've got installed. And this is the first tip that I have to give out to anybody that will do this. Make sure that you uninstall every software you don't use anymore that you don't want. So of course in Windows 7 you'll go into your control panel and go into the add or remove programs uh, that you have over there. So in the control panel you have the um, possibility of course to add and remove all the programs that you've got installed and this means that um, programs and features will be where you'll go look at all the list of everything you've got here and remove every single software you don't need anymore it's very very important because you lower the risk of having problems as you upgrade to the new system there might be a program in the list of programs you have that isn't compatible with your with Windows 10. Maybe you have a software that it's, is installed that has a major problem because of a driver that it needs specifically that could actually crash Windows 10. Even though the upgrade path from Windows 7 to Windows 10 usually works pretty well, you might be surprised if you're not careful. Now one of the things that you, so you click on a software of course that you don't need anymore, you click the uninstall button, remove everything that you know that you'll not use anymore. It's very important like I said. Um, you also will notice that some of the th software that you have might actually be gone when you upgrade to Windows 10 and that's another thing to know about. Why? Because Windows 10 there's a list of known software that is incompatible that might crash it. So if it sees one of those pre-installed, it will actually uninstall it before you upgrade to Windows 10. So it's very important to know that some of the software might not be there at all once you upgrade. It's something that could happen. There's not a lot of software that will be removed. Most of what you use will be there, but you will have probably some missing, especially if you use, use a lot of software, different programs that, you know, there might be something not right. Also, look at the list of, um, you know, the software you've got. If some of them are really old, there's also an increased chance of having that program either removed or being incompatible with Windows 10. So that's if you upgrade, because if you do a clean install, you don't have to do this. A clean install already starts from scratch. You have no programs installed, just a bare minimum of Windows. That is, of course, my recommendation if you move to Windows 10 is to go through that path, meaning you upgrade and start from scratch, which is always the best thing because you won't have any problems that might have been transported from Windows 7 to Windows 10, and you won't have any software that might have upgraded and might have slowed down your computer or crash your PC so it's very important to know that the upgrade process from Windows 7 to Windows 10 is a long process too because Windows 10 does a lot of checking a lot of uh, you know taking files taking your programs and moving them in another space temporarily where it will stay until Windows 10 is installed and it can actually bring the stuff back and remember when you do that upgrade you'll have to choose because there are two options you'll have the option to upgrade keeping files and programs or upgrade and erasing everything if you really need to uh, actually keep all the stuff you'll have to choose you know upgrade and keep the files and programs in Windows 10 but do that um, first step make sure that you go in your control panel make sure that you go into the programs and features and make sure that you uninstall every piece of software you don't use anymore to make sure that um, there's the least amount of programs that will actually upgrade with your system and of course it will lower the risk of problems if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching